day six, we are onwards and upwards. <clears throat> Once again, you look outside and it's an absolutely stunning, beautiful day outside. It's just hard to uh, fathom what's, uh, what's going on below that beautiful sky in this world. But let's just try to make it better each day that we can. I posted a little thing um, where I think one of the things that's come out of this is really this joy of sitting and watching people's performances. I mean, I'm seeing everything from um, bassoon players doing these beautiful classical pieces to Itzhak Perlman to guys playing banjo and, and groups putting together, you know, montage. Um, being exposed to a lot of people that, that you would normally not get a chance to see. Everybody's kind of contributing to this uh, global experience and, and kind of trying to make it a little bit better through the arts. Uh, and it's, it's really kind of a wonderful thing. It's, it's a shame that it kind of made this all come together like this. I remember I was back in New York, I think it was in the early 90s when they had the massive blackout. And I was working there. And uh, that evening, I was, uh, we had an evening off, and I was seeing Dick Sean, who was one of the great, kind of really crazy comedians of all time, doing his one-man show. And I had seen it before, and, and he was one of these guys that, it was loose. I mean, he would do different things in his show. Um, so you never quite knew what was gonna happen. And in the middle of his show, the lights in the theater went out. And uh, everybody kind of looked around and he said, you know, just be careful out there. It's, re it's really dark out now and there's no power. Everybody goes, yeah, whatever. And then the show finished, the emergency lights came on and the show finished and everything. And we get up, we walk outside and Manhattan's pitch black at this point. It was one of the most shocking things I've ever seen. Uh, it was just the streets were only lit by car headlights and flashlights. And of course, the first thing we did was we um, made a beeline to the uh, Carnegie Delicatessen because we knew the refrigerators were going to be off. And we got there and man, they were just, they were dumping food. You know, I, I don't think I've ever eaten so much cheesecake and stuff in my life. But we were staying at the Essex house on the 39th floor. And needless to say, um, no elevators. And... Uh, so we started, had, had to go up the stairs, and the one thing you discover is the emergency lights are good for about 30 minutes, and then they go off. And those stair stairwells are pitch black, and you find that there is not a consistency of the number of steps between levels. So you, you're you stepping up, and you think, oh, this it's 12 stairs, and then you get up there, and it's 11 on that one, and you stumble over the top one, or it's 13, whatever. Um, but the point I'll eventually get to is once we finally got to the rooms, um, people started sticking their heads out of their doors going, you okay? Is everything okay? Man, do you need anything? How are you doing? All this. And because and I think that, um, I think that blackout lasted like 26 hours. So a, a real community formed on, on the, the, the floors of the hotel, the different floors. And everybody just really kind of pulled together and watched out for each other and, you know, made sure everybody was doing okay. The minute the lights came on, bam, every fucking door shut. Nobody said hello. It was over. It was like this weird anomaly. Well, right now we're in that thing of all sitting on that floor going, are you okay, man? Are everything all right? Can I get you anything? Can I do anything? Let's hope that when the lights come back on for all of us, that we can kind of remember the community that we're forming here and uh, try to make this uh, a better a better place for all of us. It's not that much effort to be thoughtful and kind to each other. Um, and uh, it's, it's easy in this kind of a world to get wrapped up in your own personal space. And, you know, just, you know, you go, yeah, they're fine. It's whatever. Uh, I think we need to be more proactive with each other and really, really look out for one another because we're ultimately here for a very short time. Even if you live a long, full life in the in the overall scheme of things, it's that it's that, ooh, ooh, like that. Um, it's over. It's over and done. And, and how you live it is is really what it's all about. Um, so. 
Um, yesterday, um, I did uh, uh, Throwing It All Away. We started with uh, our first Genesis song of the show. And when that ended, I was like just hitting an A. And in the show, I would be doing that and just letting that ring. And then Brad Cole would come in uh, with, the, with the drums and it would kind of like cross-reference into follow you, follow me. So today we're doing follow you, follow me. So here goes. I hope I remember all my parts. It's been a while since I've played any of this stuff and I just got too many things going on trying to take care of stuff that I haven't been sitting here shedding, getting my, my stuff up to speed, but uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed except while I'm playing. So here we go. My mistake. Um, I forgot Daryl Sturmer brings us in, not Brad Cole. This is just a count off into it and then Daryl starts playing his lick. Um, so let's start that part of it again. Um, I'm so used to, I'm, I'm like Pavlovian with these shows. Once I learn them, there's, there's a flow to it. And so when I'm trying to describe it and, and intellectualize it, um, sometimes I, uh, I will tend to space out because I'm not in the flow. But here we go. This, so this is Daryl Sturmer starting this lick off. Thank you. 
much of this is eye contact. So buttons and all that stuff, it's all guesswork because uh, one of the things I love in a band is when you see the guys and girls looking at each other and everybody's connected on that, not just playing your parts, but playing within your parts. One of the things I've always found essential when I'm working on uh, projects is I learn everybody's parts, not necessarily just that I can play them, but in my mind, I know it, what everybody's supposed to be doing. And um, so you're not focusing on yourself, you're focusing on the big picture. I already know my part, so how do I fit in dynamically? How does everything fit together on, uh, on a performance? And, uh, and I'm fortunate that most of the groups that, that I've had the pleasure of working with think that way. So there's a connection. I, I really hate when I go see a band play and there's no eye contact between anybody. They're all in their own little capsules up there. It's like they've just been beamed aboard the Enterprise and they're all in their little tube by themselves. Um, we try to do everything en masse, which uh, makes for much more cohesive and, and pleasurable experience musically. So that's it. I'm going to venture out. This will probably be the last day for getting out and getting provisions because as horrific as it sounds, it, 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 it all uh, it, it, it kind of like all indicators look like L.A. is going to be the next New York. And it's going to be time to really hunker down and not leave the, the property. And uh, so I'm going to get whatever I think it's needed to get through this next couple of weeks and uh, and do some shopping for some friends that can't get out and uh, and then just continue this. So tomorrow I will be back here. I, tomorrow I'm going to be playing something that uh, is a two part. It's two songs, but that we put them together for the show. And uh, uh, the first one, we did not go to the to the bridge on it. So maybe at some point I'll post that. Um, but it's a lot of fun and uh, we are moving right along on this. I, I wrote to Phil and told him what I was doing. He thought it was really great. He's really excited and he said to give his best wishes to everybody out there is thinking of you. He's hunkered down in his place and uh, and we're, we're all in this together, man. This is this really pretty much uh, levels the playing field. So, you know, my thoughts are with you. You take good care of yourselves, take good care of your friends and family, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. So take good care. Bye-bye.